Good afternoon, welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills, this is Logan Burgess. Today is the 8th, a couple days before the WASDE report on Friday. Let's turn over to the trading platform and see where we are at here today. Corn trading down nine cents, beans down six and three quarters, wheat in Chicago trading down 13 and three quarters cents, uh, and Kansas City wheat trading down eight and a quarter cents. Logan, what's the reason for this? Why did we see such selling pressure here a couple days before the WASDE report? You know, it seems like the corn market in today's trade was really uh, the, the focus of the trade and kind of the story uh, from what we saw today. In large part, it seemed like weakness in corn had to do with what the trade's expecting on Friday. A lot of traders expecting the USDA to raise ending stocks by a sizable amount. And we certainly could have seen some people putting on new shorts in today's trade. Take a look here, though, at a daily chart of the March contract. You can see here, 420 is the checkered line here that we've been watching for a while that has acted as critical support. Once we were through that in today's action, the bottom kind of fell off. Uh, the, uh, the corn market lost about 1% in the last 15 minutes of the trade. So very dramatic selling there toward the end. And like I said, in large part, I think it has to do uh, with what people are expecting from the USDA on Friday. You know, one thing that is interesting, if we are looking at that, is uh, you know we're expecting perhaps higher ending stocks in the yeah. WASDE report on Friday. But for wheat, it's a very different scenario. Here for wheat, we saw very similar selling pressure, right. yet there is potential here for the USDA to revise their ending stocks about 18 million bushels lower here uh, in the uh, in the January report compared to December. So I guess I'm looking at this wheat chart and I'm saying, you know, if you're is this going to be another leg lower for yeah. wheat? And I would say I'm a little bit skeptical here. You know, we, we were able to break down through that six dollars. We were able to take out the lows of last week, you know, and, and it was pretty uh, sharp selling here for wheat. But we are right around this longer term trend line. Uh, it is a, a bearish trend, but we're on the low side of that. I think yeah. that's going to offer a little bit of support or at least kind of pause price action yeah. from moving significantly lower here. And I think with the WASDE report, with the potential to have uh, positive numbers there, right. I think, you know, I would be a little bit nervous trying to put on new uh, selling positions or, or trying to price wheat down around these levels. Yeah, let's quickly recap here what the trade in general is expecting from the USDA on Friday. As you can see here, the first column is what the USDA reported in December in terms of 2013-14 ending stock projections. And on the right column here is what the trade is expecting on Friday. As you can see, 70 million bushels expected to be added to corn ending stocks. The big driver of that number there are expectations for yield to be raised by half to one bushel per acre on average uh, for last summer's crop. Soybeans, though, a very different story. Not a lot of changes expected, down just 1 million bushels. And as you said, Cody, uh, in general here, people are expecting a supportive story for wheat out on Friday. Wouldn't it be surprising to see better demand side numbers on Friday, uh, as you kind of hinted at, because the wheat market has really just marched lower here over the last several months. If you want live market quotes on Friday on your mobile device, visit us over at GrainHedge.com. You can take a no-obligation demo and get some live mobile quotes from Chicago on your iPhone, iPad, Android, or tablet. Thanks a lot for joining us here on Grain TV. We'll see you tomorrow.